Okie dokie, folks. We're uh, changing the gears here. We're going over to Belgium and looking at a Bacchus Creekin beer. It's a cherry, cherry flavored beer. It'll probably like your Lindemann's Boone Creek. I seen folks drinking these type of beers when I was in uh, Brussels with the wife years ago. Not necessarily like uh, this one. Ah. Uh, It's a Flemish brown beer. From what I understand, it's a, like a brown malt. And then they add cherry, like a cherry beer to it. So it's a typical Flemish beer with a pleasant wine-like taste, which passes dark brown beer, which is partially matured in oak cask, has a slightly acidic taste. Now, from what I understand, so you got your you got your lambic beers, which have their beers that are brewed with no yeast. It's just the yeast that's in the air in that particular area of Belgium, and I think it's only in the winter months that that happens. So you take these different lambics, and then they blend these lambics, and they make a, a goose, if I'm pronouncing a goose beer. So goose is just a, a blend of lambics. But they have different vintages. And that is the vintage of of the cherries picked or the, the raspberries. It is a framboy. I think it's a framboy, framboise. Probably framboy, I think I pronounce it. I, I suck at French. Anyways, it's, that's the process of it. So I'm looking at here the Bacchus's uh, Bacchus a cherry beer. Never had it. 5.8 percent. Like I said, I've seen it in my travels, and the packaging is pretty cool. It's kind of just wrapped up. It's like it's gift wrapped. Now I think that's class. I like that. Kind of reminds me of the old way that um, of less lettering that used to have their bottles. There was nothing on it and just the, the cap. But this is what you're left with. Now, is that cheaper than have a, a labeling machine? I don't know. So, oh yeah, we said we said we said we're at 5.8 percent on this. Yeah, 5.8 percent. And I got a beer opener somewhere. So we look at the cap. Um, was bottled. Back in 13 September 2022. And is good until 13 September 2024. So they figure it as to be like a wine. Because I guess they're adding this fruit to it. Even though it's a brown beer. And then they're adding to it. It's To me it seems like a complicated process. Or time consuming process. But look we're going to check it out. Never had one of these before. Always wanted to try one. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's see what we're getting into. I don't know if that's pretty or if it's ugly. I don't know. I don't know if it's sick or or what. But all right, it, it's dark, like a ruby color, almost maybe like a, a hobgoblin. Uh, from which we're brewery type of ale. But then when you look at the head, it's an off pinky tan. The sickly color. It's, it's not appetizing to me anyways. Real tight bubbles. Wow. Now. 
that brings back memory. When I was a kid back in Pennsylvania, there used to be these cough sweets you can get. It came in a white box. It looked like I had, I had two brothers. It had the heads, and I think there were two brothers on it. The white box. I think it was Lindemans. Lindemans? It could have been Lindemans now. And then isn't that a, um, a creek beer in Belgium? Anyways, it was a cough sweet. It was a cherry cough sweet, and it was an oval cough sweet. But I used to, I, I'd get them to eat like candy. It was such a nice cherry flavor, and that's the smell that I'm getting off that. Do they still have that back in the States? Maybe you know what I'm talking You get it in the, in the pharmacy over there. Maybe Walgreens would have them or something. But that's the smell I'm getting, and that cherry flavor. Now I like cherries, so anything cherry I like. It just smells like that cherry cough sweet. When I say cough sweet, there's no medicine in it in this cough in this cough lozenger. It's just pure cherry flavor, and you just eat it like a, like it was a like a cherry candy. All right, it smells good. <laughs> it tastes like that cherry cough sweet. Wow. I have to look that up. I'm going to have to look. I'll, I'll look that up. And if it is what I think, I'll, I knew that I think the name started with an L on that cough sweet box. I'm going to look it up because it's going to bother me. And if it is, I'll, I'll put it up here on, on the video. Well, wow, the taste of it. I get the malt of the beer briefly, and then it comes into that cherry flavor, which I love, and then it fades out into a beer again. Slight, tiniest hop. If at all hop. Maybe it's the acidic taste that they're talking about. Yeah, the aftertaste I'm not too fond of, I have to say. But when you get into it, half a second after you, you drink it, you get this full-on cherry flavor, and it's pleasant, and you want more of it. But then when, when it finishes off, it's kind of disappointing. Mm. Right there, it's great. It's like, boom, a brown beer. Hits you with cherry, and then it just goes off into its own, does its own thing. And you're kind of sad because it's that cherry flavor has ended so quick. <laughs> this is an interesting beer. Wow. All right. Would I get this again? Yeah, I probably would. I, I kind of like it. Um, five out of five for this. Now, you have to like cherry. If you don't like cherries, you're not going to like this. If you don't like a brown beer, you're not going to like this. But to me, it hits all the spot. Five out of five. Holy moly.